My name is Dr. Treasury and I am a specialist audiologist. Are you ready to get started with your ASMR, most thorough and very detailed hearing test today? Wonderful. Let's begin. I'm going to start by checking your responsiveness to different frequencies as we get older. Frequencies are something that we can lose. However, the frequencies I will be using today are all within the range of normal hearing, so you should be able to hear all of these. So let's just see how well you respond, okay? Right. I'm going to start then with a low frequency. Just tell me if you can hear that one. Good. And how about if we swap to the other ear? from the upper end of the range. Very good. Okay. If you can hear all of those, then what I'm going to suggest we do is I am going to use two different frequencies, one in each ear, and I would just like you to identify for me which ear has the higher frequency, okay? So we'll do a little practice now. Okay. 
In which ear do you hear a higher frequency? The right ear. Very good. And same again. The left ear, very good. I would like you to tell me on which side you can hear the lower frequency this time. left side. Very good. Okay. I'm going to test your hearing against my own now. So what I'm going to do is I am going to move this tuning fork away from us to the side and I would just like you to tell me when you can no longer hear it, okay? So focus for a moment on this tuning book and then tell me when you can no longer hear it. Good, okay, and now tell me when you can hear it again. Very good. Same again on the other side. And then tell me when you can hear it again. It's very faint coming in, isn't it? I'll do that again. Very good, well done. I would like you to just close your eyes for this next section. That's it, just close those eyes, close your eyes. Very, very good. Okay. All I want you to do with your eyes closed is tell me whether you can hear the sound of the tuning fork. On the left of your head, the right of your head, or whether it feels like it's directly in front of you, okay? Good, alright, here we go. On your right, very good. And is this one on your left, on your right, or directly in front of you? Very good, on your right. on your left or your right or directly in front of you. It is on your left. Very good. Next, 
we are going to work through a series of object identification tests. So some of these objects are louder and some are quieter. They are all at slightly different frequencies. And what I'm going to be doing is asking you to describe to me the characteristics of some of these objects. So you may be able to describe to me a material or you may even be able to describe what that object is. Okay. Good. If at any point you can't hear an object, just let me know. All right. Very good. Okay. So for this to work again, I will need you to close your eyes for me and keep them close for the duration of this test. No peeking. Good. Okay, let's get started then with the first object. So I would just like you to listen to the sounds that this object makes and see if you can identify the material that it's made from. Okay, here we go. Is wood very good? And can you tell me for a bonus point what do you think this object might be? Well done. Very good. Okay, moving on to another object now. And I just want you to tell me how many sounds you hear in each ear. So we're going to start with your left ear. How many sounds do you hear? Just count them. How many did you hear? Four. Very good. And now let's try with your right ear. How many did you hear that time? Seven. Very good. And can you tell what the object is? 
is scissors, very good. Okay. Same again, I would just like you to count how many sounds you hear. This one is slightly softer, so it's a little more difficult, okay? Let's start this time with your right. How many sounds did you hear? Very good. And let's try in your left ear. How many did you hear that time? Yes, very good. Can you tell what that quite a crinkly sound but it's not foam again. Let me try something else for you. That's right, it is a brush, yes. Can you tell what kind of brush it is? No? Okay, that's fine, it's a toothbrush, but well done. Very, very good, okay. So you seem to be responding well to various frequencies and your identification of various objects at different pitches is also very good. So what I'm going to do now is move on to a test where I can play sounds to you in each ear and see how you respond, okay? I'm going to make some notes as you go. What I need you to do first, though, is put some headphones on for me. So we are going to pop these over your ears. It might make me sound a little muffled, but you should still be able to hear me, all right? Wonderful, okay, let's pop these on for you. you still hear me okay? Yes. Very good. Alright. I need you to take this clicker for me for this first portion of the test. 
So you can have your eyes open for this if you want to, or closed, it doesn't matter. But every time you hear a sound, you are going to click. You only need to do one click per sound. The sounds are going to travel between your ears. And also, some are going to be quieter than others, which are going to be louder. And they may also be different frequencies, okay? So whilst this is playing, I am just going to monitor how many sounds are played, what decibels they are played at, and how many you can pick up on. Alright. Wonderful. I will pass you this one. That's it. If you just want to hold it there for me. Alright. Let me just this one on. Okay. We are just going to do a little practice run first, so I will play you a sound now, and I just want you to press the clicker when you hear it. Okay? Here we go. Every time you press the clicker, it pops up on my screen to register that you've heard the sound. Okay, let's get started then. Your sounds are going to begin in a few seconds. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Very good, keep going. Okay, well done. That is perfect. You scored 95% there, which is well within the normal range that we would expect, so that's great. Wonderful. Now for the next part of this test, you don't need the clicker. Again, you're welcome to keep your eyes open or closed, but what's going to happen is you are going to hear a different sound, a different word in each ear. And I'm going to tell you which ear I would like you to concentrate on, and you are going to repeat that word back to me. Alright? Okay, let's do a practice first. Okay, so I would like you to focus please on your left ear for this one. Very good, well done. Okay, next up then, I'm not going to tell you until after which ear I want you to concentrate on, so I'm just going to play some sounds, and then you're going to let me know what you hear. Alright, here we go. What did you hear in your right ear? Very good. Clickerlash. What did you hear in your left ear? Well done. Acoustic. And your left ear again. 
very good. Just giving it a go. And your right ear. Okay, very good. And your left ear this time. Well done. Okay, final one. Fluttering. Okay, can you tell me what you heard in both ears? That's it. Very good. Well done. Okay. Right, it's going to get a little bit more difficult now because one of the ears is going to be slightly quieter or slightly louder than the other so that's going to make it a bit more tricky. The phrases are also going to get slightly more complicated. Okay. Alright, here we go. So let me know what you hear for this test one in your right ear. I'm just going to run these phrases then. Well done. Okay, one more. Very good. And I'm just going to do another one because most people struggle with this, but you've done so well. We should try another one, okay? What 
do you think that one was? It was, yes. Very, very good. Okay, I'm going to remove these headphones from you a second. How's that feeling? All good? Okay, very good. Now I'm going to make a sound by one of your ears, a bit like that. And I'm going to say a number to you in the opposing ear, so it's kind of a distraction. And I just want you to repeat back to me the number that I say, alright? Okay. 432. Good. Very good. Nine hundred and forty two. Good. Final one. Two thousand seven hundred and sixty five. Very good. I had all the numbers to choose from there and I couldn't think of one. Okay, so what we are going to do finally is I'm going to take a very quick look inside each of your ears, okay? Just to make sure that there are no obstructions or any obstacles that might be causing an issue, but from what I can tell, your hearing is absolutely fine and we have no issues. So I will just grab my otoscope a moment and I will be back in a second, okay? Lovely, thank you. Do you clean your ears normally? Do you use earbuds or do you use a kind of drop? Earbuds? is inside the ear canal itself where it looks a little bit inflamed so I think perhaps if you are using earbuds and pushing them into your ear canal the skin is very very sensitive the ear canal is very sensitive and it may just be causing um, an issue when was the last time that you used one in preparation for the hearing test today of course yeah yeah, so I can see, I think that's probably what it is. I'll just have one last little look in here. Okay. I think it's nothing necessarily to worry about. I think it will go down, but 
I would suggest not using earbuds to clean your ears if you can and try to use drops or a solution instead. If you do find that your ear starts to get sore at all or you get a temperature then do go and see your doctor, okay? Good, alright, let's have a look now then in your right ear. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I may see you again soon. 